can we talk a little bit about how to interpret art? When I walk into a museum or when I walk into uh, a restaurant, mm -hmm. a building lobby, and I see a painting, yeah. is there a certain way to look at what I'm seeing to understand it, or is it just like, oh, I get a feeling from it, or is it like, do you look at certain colors? Or I'm going to answer your question, but I just find it so, because you're not the first person to ask a question like that. I find it so interesting that most people are looking for the most mathematical way to interpret art. Yes. And that doesn't make any sense. Why not? <laughs> because the purpose of that painting in the restaurant is not for you to get up on it when you first get to the restaurant, when you hop out the Kia Sonata or whatever the fuck car you drove there in, and stare at it and come up with some kind of solution for it. Do you know what the purpose of that painting is? Which one? The painting that you're referring to. Oh, 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 do I know what the purpose is? No. The purpose of that painting is for you to sit down with the person that you came to the restaurant with and talk about it over a meal. You're not supposed to rush through this shit. So before we start asking ourselves, what does this mean? And da 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 you gotta settle your energy. So that the message that is intended for you from it can land on you. So how do you do that? You calmly go to your table, pull out the chair if you brought a young lady, Help her sit down, then you sit down, and you drink the image in. At that point, just go with what you think and feel. And understand that the thing that you want to hold on to while you're thinking about all those things is confidence. Because whatever you think and say and feel is valid. Question for me, or from me to you, is why do you think you need to assess that painting upon seeing it? The problem with art is that mentality. Mm. There's no problem in the content. There's no problem in the content. The content, it's so subjective. It's like, it's like, it's like trying to find a hair in some maple syrup. It's like, you can't uh, do it. I don't necessarily think so. I think that sometimes when I look at art, I think that sometimes I'll see something in the art that may be a message. Or may represent something. Oh, I'm not saying I'm not saying that art doesn't doesn't deliver the message. Oh, that, that's what I'm saying. So like, even if I'm listening to like, uh, it's like why lyrics matter in rap. That's how mm -hmm. I listen to rap. So I'm listening for the lyrics. When I'm going in a place and I'm looking at art, I'm trying to see what what is the artist trying to convey. Now, if the artist doesn't really have a, a painter or illustrator doesn't really have a message in it, that's fine. But I ultimately. For me, it's a way to get to know the artist. So that's kind of why I look at it like that. Mm -hmm. And why I would say, okay, are there certain things I should look out for? Is, is there a certain book that might break things down? But, you know, maybe an art critic is full of shit. Well, maybe no. an artist will create a fake narrative. No, no, well, well his, so I, I could have been more clear. So I, I was just saying, like, that makes sense. Yeah. But... The need to feel like you have to do it by assessing the colors and what these colors... Are. Like, everything that you're going to use to measure these compartmentalized, these compartmentalized aspects of a piece of art, all of those rulers that you're using to measure those things come from a European art world. So it's not going to match your nature. Is the, That's the best way I can put it. Like, when you're saying, well, if it's blue, you're not saying this, but like, for example, if it's like, well, it's blue and it's green and it's red and it's purple, that means that they're sad, but it's melancholy, according to who, right? If, And that's not to say that the artist didn't mean that. But again, for me, it's like, did the artist mean that? Or did they see that pattern, that success somewhere else? And they did something like that, consciously or subconsciously? I don't know. But... To your point, I think the question that you might be asking me that I'm that somehow I'm like innocently dodging is how can you look at art? Like, what are you supposed to prioritize when you look at art? And for me, it's what you think about it, how you feel. Like it's but to 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 be comfortable sharing that will always require confidence. So that's what I'm saying. Just be confident about whatever you think and feel about it because it's not wrong. The people that suggest to you that it is wrong are people that are following a script that comes from a Eurocentric art world, whether they realize it or not. 
what you think matters, what you feel matters, apply that. That's it. Okay. That's it. Now, if you want to become better at articulating that, that's a matter of knowing words and, and language and being familiar with how art has been discussed and being familiar with references. And that's when you get into the kind of thing that I'm a little bit more involved in, which is like understanding the history of art and um, key players in the arts. That doesn't mean like I'm an encyclopedia about fine artists, but it does mean I understand how art has gotten us here. Um, but if you're just talking about how to assess a piece of art, it's just, you know, what do you think of it? How do you feel about it? What can you reference? Can you say that it's like, I might see a piece of art and be like, that looks like Ninja Turtles. Now, if at, I'm at Christie's or Sotheby's, someone might laugh at me. But out of 10 random people, more people will know what I'm talking about if I say that looks like something from Ninja Turtles than if I say that looks like a Galgan. The art world knows that only four people know who Galgan is out of that 10. Really, probably only two. But that's the point. <laughs> it's esoteric. And for that reason, people don't participate. And there's an issue with confidence. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even, like, I think a lot of people hear the kind of stuff that I'm, like, the content that I have and think that I've, like, spent so much time reading books and all. And I mean, I have. But the thing, I just, I'm confident about what I think about art. That's it. I'm always confident about what I think about art. And there's no opinion, no publication, no artist, no anyone or anything that could tell me I'm wrong about what I think about art at all. Just based on my experience alone. Agree with it, don't. I'm happy to disagree, whatever. But I'm just saying, like, I know what I'm talking about. If you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.